Thank God. My goal before the night here we come the all I Mata Maria The Tiger Down the Right to Fight and Die No me of the night we can't to stay Mata Maria Man <laughs> Anyway, hello my demons, welcome to part three of Obviously my Exophon now Uh I am actually really enjoying this game. Usually when I enjoy a game no, that's what's a zero I play. Like, like, I'm not kidding. Usually, when I do actually enjoy a game or get around to properly enjoying a game, <coughs> I'm stuck on that. And I have actually been enjoying this game. Now, uh, I did stop last time because not the game kind of froze and honestly I had a bit of food coming up oh, a bit of food it's really it was literally like two caramel slices which honestly were not the best which is weird because I usually Enjoyed the caramel slices for them there, except this time, not as much. No, no, maybe it's just maybe it was just me. I mean, of course, it was just me because no one else got them. I mean, obviously, I didn't just specifically place an order for two caramel slices, someone else did, but uh. No, oh, interesting. Mm, yeah, do I have this one or no? No, oh, no, I don't. Good. Um. Yeah, okay, I don't. Good. Uh. Yeah. So another thing that was got was like this caramel swish roll, but it was like so much cream in there like I got this game takes forever to load again I started loading this before her thing I, start, uh, I started loading this before I actually loaded up the stream. Uh, da -da 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 -da, we are the dark and I Okay, so at least I didn't seem to lose too much. Stand up on the night that got the door. Alright, and. Oh, shit. I have very much been listening to quite a bit of Powell lately. 
Like, I'm sick, so... Logical conclusion? Listen to Powell. Ah, <laughs> uh, hmm. Well, picked a really... Actually, how did you not see me sneaking around down there? I mean, that... That's just kind of weird. I'm assuming that you'd get a lot more. Oh hey. shit. Huh? What's that over there? Seems like some dickhead there. Huh? On something that's not hardcore. But, you know, who knows? Um, not sure that's the. Like, I'm not sure specifically if I'll be doing Ranger Hardcore on my next playthrough. I kind of want to bring this up, but... Hmm. It really just seriously makes no sense as to... Yep. Why the revolver got downgraded to a free shot.
Like, that makes me... See, I'm not sure specifically if it was Artyoms either. Because, you think about it, an Artyom would have had to then specifically... And I mean this specifically... Been looking for a free shot cylinder. Because th there's not been a free shot at all. Like, okay. <sighs> it doesn't even make any sense in the sense of the world. Every single revolver that you ever find. has been a six shot huh? like there's been hey what the hell <sighs> okay i honestly think that that's all of them Otherwise, I'd very much have a shit storm on my hands right now. Yeah, I'm 80% sure that's all of them. It's the same clock that you get in the Casaccio one. Hmm. See, I would love to be in a train like this. Like, so for the standard Actually, uh, I only have four minutes of air left. Holy shit! So, usually for the standard trains, it kind of is generally what you see. Like, we've got chairs this side. Chairs this side, and that's really just it. Huh, I could have sworn that they would have had like some kind of beast in here, at least that's what it was sounding like. Also, that there doesn't really make any sense because that usually, at least in my like what I think, that usually meant Spartan supplies nearby. So no idea. Anyway, um. Oh yeah, so, anyway, as is of most strains, it's chair, or oh, seat, seat, but I want to be in a cabin train, we have to open the door, kind of like Harry Potter 
train, I guess, as people probably have seen that movie so they understand what I'm talking about. Oh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I know I don't think it. But it was every. Had to not every year gets a different mode of transport. Huh, so he was the last one. Good to know. Ugh. Anyway, it's time to move on. So time to go find a little baby doll. Do a save there, just as a backup. Okay, Metro Exodus, you've officially just fucking lost. Nope. <sighs> you took away one of the only neutral things that I actively liked. And that was the anomaly. Now, the anomaly... Neutral. It attacks. Indiscriminately. And, yeah, in, uh, it attacks indiscriminately as long as you're not moving. Unless it seems to actively hunt you as long as Yeah, you don't move oh. uh, uh, unless it seems to actively attack you if it knows where you are. <sighs> so thank you, Exodus. You you ruined. Look what they did to my baby. And of course, yes, I mean. Thank you, Exodus. As a big fuck you, Exodus. I have really
no idea as to why that needed to change. It was perfectly fine. Uh, that should just be a standard assault light. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. That looked horrible. It's uh, a heavy stock. Okay, so yeah, this one is really. That one looks absolutely gutted compared to the rest. Kind of curious, like you need to clean. Each part though. Again, a scope on this. Would really come in handy. Uh. <laughs> Again, though, <sighs> as to specifically why they changed up the anomaly. Okay, let's actually do that. Let's have a look. This seems to be...
so it <sighs> okay you know I will kind of maybe agree that maybe this one is different compared to the ones in the previous games oh, damn it However, I uh, know I still just kind of. Uh, I've got to remember it's left trigger. Okay, so in around here. Worshipper, and he won't leave this place no matter what. But I can't just leave the dummy here. Do you even know what that movie is, son? Have you heard about those? It's a sin, father. Sin to say such things about our community, especially to a heretic. Oh, sin, sin, you're like a broken record. Use your head. You see how it goes here? Now, well, then. You'd better go now. Somebody really might see you with us. And go <laughs> okay, so they do seem peaceful, which is good. It's just kind of as I thought. Do you know how much I paid Chris for the batteries alone? You damn! First, it's a sin. Second, you just went and brought a heretic upon us with this hellish contraption. Think fish he was peaceful. And we won't get this lucky next time. And last, someone really might hear. Then neither of us would get away with it. Let's just go home and forget all about seeing the heretic and about this technological possession of yours. As if it never happened. All right. Let's go. Just promise me that you won't do things like that anymore. Don't put me in jeopardy. Then my Lenka and I are going to make you a grandchild next year. If you promise not to put this technological heresies into its head, it's a sin. Ah, <sighs> I really. See, I was kind of half tempted to. As you can kind of see, I was trying to knock him out. Actually, 
I kind of wonder what would happen if we just avoid them. I get the feeling they'll shoot anyway. Oh, he will shoot it anyway. <sighs> but who knows? Okay. Why'd you turn it off? Let it play. This is a sin, Father. Even the heretic understands. Okay, so don't shoot it bad. So he just shoots it anyway. I'm not gonna lie. That kinda sucks. Let's just go home and forget all about seeing the heretic and about this technological possession of yours. As if it never happened. Let's go. Again, it does seem very much that they know better. It's just, you know, Silentius that's kind of ruining things. Not gonna lie, I kind of half expected to be able to shoot that. Uh, if I was a demon nest, where exactly would I? Be? I'm assuming all the way up top. Hmm. I'd kind of be expecting that they'd be sleeping during the day. Maybe that's just me. Okay, so those are watchmen. The demons asleep. Why do they look like a bat? <coughs> hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, so I'm kind of wondering if I could grab everything else. Then the bear. And then just zoom away. Now, I'm not really. <sighs> so, not really the kind of guy that's going to go, ah, don't kill absolute pattern every god, no. Uh, this one potentially. But generally, if I can avoid killing, ugh, I'll avoid killing. Um, so in kind of random movie news, um, I got around to watching Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. Ah, uh, so my honest thoughts on it. The premise was a lot better than the actual movie. Personally, for me, Valerian was not that compelling uh, so the basic premise of the movie um the opening is somewhat of the international space station and various different countries together and dock their own module onto it. Did you mind turning around? Okay, so you could also potentially get the... Binoculars there. Just going to grab this. I like how Artyom is so calmly just picking that up. Like there's not just a murder hell beast right there that wants the term shreds. We Okay, maybe this is just me, but it seems so nice that you grind to such a peaceful stop. An eight shot cylinder. Okay, like specifically then, how did Artyom find? A 
face shot. Like, really, where exactly did he find a free shot cylinder? Uh, okay, so first up, let's take this back to the train. Okay, yeah. Specifically, maybe I could have looked something up better. <sighs> Again, look. I am very much going to say that I am not. Okay, bye. station you lot all gonna be dead <sighs> also it is kind of a bit weird as I have no idea Which things you can jump over and which you can't? Hmm. So this is supposed to be a monster den. Intriguing. Wait, oh. Well, it's like, okay, how did you see me? You know, that was perfectly flair. I just said perfectly flair. Perfectly Rick Flair. Whoa! I. God, when was the last time Rick Flair even wrestled? It must be like borderline a dinosaur now. Alright. So. I know that I specifically haven't finished this game. Uh, already, however, I do want to bring up some... Some issues that I have already. Um, one, the load time is a lot worse. <sighs> like, in terms of comparing it to the others, um, naturally the load time is a lot worse. 
Um, I don't want to say I specifically blame this on the world as a whole being bigger. Oh, okay. Alright, so... Okay, how am I getting... Now, are these guys bandits or... <sighs> I'd have to assume that these guys are bandits. of Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets is, again, it's kind of like the International Space Station where each planet starts docking and it goes to a fairly decent size. Then an alien ship comes by and docks <coughs> onto it and... <sighs> and again, more ships start moving in. Guys, we're getting fucking trapped. Shit, should sit this one out. And then it gets to the point where the Alpha Space Station has grown so large that it now poses a threat off. So it's sent away to a new system. And, you know, and then we essentially see nothing of the city for... <sighs> quite a good chunk of the movie. Like, seriously, after that first intro which it really is a good intro it shows off you know various aliens coming to Ah, some, okay, this really is an issue with just various fucking games, where even though you should be hidden, as soon as you go back in, somehow you're pretty much seen, and it's just like, uh, 
Anyway, um, it's it's a good opening. I would rate the opening maybe six out of ten. Uh, it's fairly decent, but mm, yeah, it could be a bit better. Like I said, shows. Dude, okay, how the who the fuck is seeing me? I want to know who specifically just saw me then. Okay, look. In other game, or in the other Metro games, I would have been able to easily just crouch jump through that immediately. And then... Literally, right after that, we are on an alien planet, which we later find out is called Moon Mule. Whatever. Peaceful alien, you know, lush beaches, stuff like that. But, oh no! Ah. Uh, giant spaceships start crashing down, and the entire planet gets destroyed. As in, straight up, just the entire planet goes boom. <sighs> then we meet Valerian. Again. Yeah, I suppose he's okay. A movie protagonist. And they're working for the government in space. And their job is to get a mule converter. Which is this little thing, little creature that... It's this little thing that... Pretty much reproduces anything that you feed it. Like, the chick is just like, oh, I heard you can reproduce anything. Here is a diamond. And then just start shooting diamonds everywhere. And of course, they were native to Mune. We all. I like what you do. To create these pole like things. So, you know. And they're sent down to this area called Big Market. It's so the concept of Big Market is it's in another dimension, I suppose. On the surface, it's literally this ward in circle. Like it's just a giant circle of nothingness with walls around it. But you need to put on these sort of you need to put on this gear. To actually see and interact with anything. It's got like over a million stores. 
Yeah, you know, just a bunch of stuff around there. Yeah, you know, that seems like a fairly decent concept. Like, yeah, he is a gigantic market that. You know, you need specific stuff to try and actually see purchase. And any purchases that you want, you have to, or any purchases that you want to take home. Obviously, I don't see why you wouldn't. You need to put into this special matter conversion box. And then that converts it from that dimension. I give up. Yeah, be sure that you do. At least he didn't fucking shoot me on the spot. <coughs> Again, like bandits. Oh. I mean, I tried to be nice to the last bandits, and then they woke up and started shooting me, so... Hmm... <sighs> <laughs> mm, how exactly do I get up on the soon? Up that way. Uh, is there no ladder? I am not gonna lie. I would half expect a ladder. Make up your mind, I can either attempt to... <sighs> really? Okay, fine, we'll do it your way and not actually attempt to get up. This seems highly... That seemed highly unsafe to try and get up here. Yeah, I kind of think that he'd have a scoped weapon. Hey, like, okay, seriously, for bandit holdout area, this is really not that safe. Like, this very much so is unsafe. Okay, wait. Was this the... Because it says you'd find really good gear here, but... This? This. Okay, so... Long bow. Okay. What else did I get for that specifically then? Was it just really the long bow? And this really has stopped being <laughs> a revolver at this point and it essentially has just evolved into <sighs> ah, that should 
unless and I fucking mean this unless your bones are just completely broken to hell and extremely fragile unless your health is that of a snowflake an internet snowflake no 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 a, a literal snowflake like an actual ice snowflake there's no fucking way that would kill you I mean, don't get me wrong. Alright, so... That also kind of looks like a scope. It's yeah, a long bow, and then another scope. <sighs> like, seriously... Okay, like, I will admit, that would hurt. Now, let's say... Yeah, I'll use this as an, ex as an example. If my mother were to jump off that, or at least off that, it would hurt. Hurt an incredible, just, it would hurt a lot. Pain for fucking days. <laughs> like, seriously, jumping off that onto hard concrete. Shh. Her legs would just buckle and. Yeah, pain. Artyom is not my fucking mother. I am probably to Google. Okay, so, I think in 2043, he is 24, so, maybe, and I mean this, just, maybe, <laughs> by the time of Exodus, he is, I uh, know, maybe, just slightly older than me, which I am 27, or 28, no, 28. Fucking damn, I'm old. And definitely in better shape than me. However, I would still think, like, yes, I'm aware that I'm injured. However, that is not lethal for height. I could jump off that and survive. Like, I wish I was so you fucking Artyom. What the fuck? Like, actually, what the fuck? I'm sorry, is any
me full damage fatal to this fucking guy. Like, look at. Oh my fucking god, I didn't realize I was dealing with Princess Snowflake of the Snowflake Division. Dude! I am fucking so... I am trying. But... I, I am trying... I am trying so... So fucking hard to wrap my head around the fact that Artyom is has been turned into Dude, seriously, you're not fucking falling on. Uh, you're not falling off the Eiffel fucking tower. I have fallen down heights longer than. Oh, higher than that in the other games. <laughs> oh, I should gravity stronger. Slav dancers so cool. <laughs> Small hurt, comrade. The radiation has clearly made Artyom's bones more brittle. <sighs> okay, so Tactical armor, MPP level 4 gear, backpack of unknown chems, free projector weapons, a knife, canteen of vodka, medikit, thrash, and I've just put all that and drip down a couple of feet. Bet you'll feel it hard. Um. Yeah, I'll admit that would make you a lot heavier. However. Like, yeah, I, I will agree that Artyom is carrying quite a lot of gear. Something I will not agree with, however, is the fact that it Should be seen that A4. Okay.
would it even be a stream if my batteries one out now look at that height uh, and tell me that that is a lethal four damage over encumbered with gear again hmm okay Good game logic. No, again, like, yes. I will admit, like, I'm, I'm not saying that it wouldn't hurt. However, I am questioning Really? Would it be this absolutely lethal? Yeah, he's carrying a lot more gear than previous games. Alpha, they're called lurkers. I don't care if it is for the sake of realism. It is still annoying. You could say it's for the sake of realism that... What? Huh. What would be a good guy? <sighs> Call of Duty. Let's say for the sake of realism that a single bullet shot two foot now makes you one. Oh for fuck's sake, I should have saved all this out there. Makes you run at Signific sign significantly slower speeds and takes upwards of, um, let's say, several months to heal. Realism. Um, let's. say that in The Last of Us, you know, I definitely feel like in The Last of Us, for well, its more realistic grounded mode, that, you know, if you got shot once, you'd have to wait there for several months just to let it heal. Yeah, yeah. Realism. Oh. Well, hello, my blood. Fucking hell, dude. Didn't see me, huh? The others don't either. I'm basically part of the scenery now. Then let me show you it. The terminal can only be entered by water. Luckily, there is a dock with a boat nearby. Left there by the fanatics, it seems. Inside, there are just those, uh, um, humanimal mutants, or so it seems. See that gas station? It's a bandit hideout. They ambush the fanatics. These guys seem to be drawn to the terminal like flies to you know what. The bandit caught three of them on my watch. Look at the building over there. 
bandits keep captives there for ransom or something. But they sure go to town on the poor guys. I asked the colonel for permission to go in three times, but no dice. I understand why, but we have always protected common folk from lowlifes like these. So I'm having a hard time staying put. Oh well. The bridge is in full lockdown. None of the armed dudes ever show themselves. They definitely expect us to attack, so there is no reason to be concerned about them now. Hey, it's your choice when to move up, but the bandits should be easier to avoid in the dark. In any case, I'm going back to my post. Okay, uh, I know what I'm going next. Dude, you know, I can appreciate that you're stealth, but you almost caught a fucking bullet. Uh, everything a nice clean. Again, like for this, I I find that for the sake of realism is honestly a pretty flimsy excuse, and the reason that I say that. Is because me personally, I would enjoy a realistic game. Like I enjoy more realistic games. However, it is that not actually. Oh, I'll wait till night. However, I want you to seriously just ask yourself. Would you actually enjoy a realistic game? And what does realism mean to you? Uh, really, what, what does it mean to you? Uh, let's say there's a game where you can get married. Yep, good luck. You have to spend... ...several years getting to know him or her. And then, once you do, you want to get married. Yeah, that's another possibly year of not only trying, but then also the actual pregnancy. So, you know. Realism is okay in games. Now, if we were to take the long dark, as I have kind of mentioned in some community streams, is a pretty good long dark streamer. <sighs> long dark is a pretty realistic game. However, as he has mentioned, it's not supposed to be realistic. But as I keep saying, it's a lot more realistic than, say, <laughs> 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 
Metal Gear Survive. In which... You know, you run out of food way too quickly. So, you know, more realistic than other survival games is generally what I mean. Like, yeah, the long dark definitely could use some upgrades onto how it works. But again, it's fairly decently realistic. If it was actually realistic. And then, you know, <sighs> realism in games is only there for hardcore gamers that would actually enjoy that. So I'm counting bare minimum four. So trying to say that no, oh, this game is trying to be realistic in that. Yeah, you're gonna run out of breath. You're gonna. Then why isn't it realistic in any other sense? This game clearly does not follow the books. So... They have a... They have a dog. So, if you're going to try and be realistic in one sense, be realistic in the other sense. In, in literally all the other senses. If not, then you're just... Kind of pulling shit out your fucking ass Of what you want it to be realistic of. And you're just using them as, quite honestly, horrible game mechanics. Like... How enjoyable would it be to traverse this entire area? <laughs> on foot. Like, obviously on foot, but... Without running. On a scale of one to fun. How fun would that be? Not fun. Despite the fact that 
yeah, for the most part. <sighs> if this was trying to be realistic with the amount of gear that Artem is carrying. Generally, you'd be walking around. But instead, they choose it to be that four is going to kill you. Well, I guess when people are desperate enough for female enemies, they'll start drawing them. So that's really kind of one thing that I don't like about games like this is there are no female enemies. Where's the equality there? So many people say about, yeah, we need equality. Why are there far more male enemies in games? Oh, okay, just literally leads me back to the same area. Say take this game, like this Metro series. All male enemies. If we were to take Halo. Again. All male enemies. Mass Effect? Yeah, for the most part. All male enemies. I mean, granted, with the Reapers, possibly females, but just like, you, you want a difference between male and female ratios in Mass Effect. First two games, all the Torians and Salarians you see, all male. Krogans, male. Korians. The only one you find is female. So yay. <sighs> Asari, yes, or female. However, they're a single gendered race. So, I honestly don't see as to that counting. least you did have female enemies in Mass Effect. Are these guys the bandits? I don't expect you to use everything that you can Okay, it really does just kind of seem like I'm moving around trying to create as many freaking dots as I can.
I'm going to hell. No. No tits. No. What? Yep, sure. The button fires are nice, but you also gotta focus on the tits, man. B go. Wait, no, 13 goals. How do you not see the body there? See now, people, it with people in this game, an encounter does not necessarily consume resources. As you can tell, I am moving through here. Have not used up a single resource, however, I am gaining resources. Alright, so one, two... See, now look. Knocked him out from the side. <coughs> yeah, some other times when I have a perfect <coughs> shot on them from the side. No. Not allowed to from that angle which okay so I'm assuming I got it for something else I did see back at the thing hmm. I kind of get the feeling the last guy might be upstairs As soon as he turns around, uh, what the fuck are we all even doing here? Oh, it's not like there is any loot to be had, really. Uh, I could just shoot him. <coughs> also, it does seem kind of weird. Like you do get a knife, but for the most part, you seem to be. Using your gun. Oh. <sighs> See, you survive that, but when you're already low, somehow you die. Stand back. Hyogum. Though you are a heretic, we will pray for the salvation of your soul for as long as we live. God bless you. Prayer is great, but I'd like to thank you with something more substantial. Listen close. There's a room in the terminal. We bring all the sinful things there for the fish to purify them. Here, key. 
You're a sinner anyway. There. <laughs> Mustn't. Celantius will excommunicate you for that. He won't if you don't tell him. Or perhaps you'd rather die here, by a heathen's blade. Oh, God, hell. Let's See. give him some time to rest, then we'll walk back to the bridge with the Lord's help. Now, again, they could be peaceful, however, the problem is Slantius. I feel like if he was removed. That actually be, you know. I don't think Doggo is alive. If Salantius was taken out of the picture, they'd be a lot more peaceful. However, as usually is the case of Zealot. I can't even say that would be a fix. <laughs> now, since this would be considered a skull zone, I'm really hoping that I get something good out of this, because I did get something fairly decent out of ooh, a new upgrade. Nice. Ah, I suppose that would be decent. However, look, <sighs> bandits. Ah. Uh. Okay, you know, I'm not even sure if shooting them would even properly register that they'd be dead. That was actually a fairly decent reward. We can look forward to that. When we get over to the terminal. Oh look, I survived that. Out taking a single bit of damage. So then explain how I die. Please actually explain how I die. How I die following that same exact bit before. Uh, Additional ammo storage, the adjustment straps, comfortable fit, cartridge pockets are closed, off of separate flaps, better securing the ammunition from purchasing the game. Ah, nice. And now we head back to the train. Back to the train, provided I don't end up. <laughs> Are you guys cultists or bandits? Seem lax, but... Oh, you seem lax.
Where did your gun go? Thank you. Hmm, nothing else? Nothing else. It's time to move on. <sighs> you know. There's also this thing called condition. Now, again, I'm speaking out of my ass here. I do not know. Oh, to sprint. Okay, you know, that does actually make sense. Even though my weapon isn't holstered, it's down. Holstered, I would assume, would be to actually holster the weapon. Glad to see you alive and well, aren't you? Uh, where's Stefan? Hi, Artyom. Okay, who wanted the guitar? Not you. Do I need to wait to give you the teddy bear? Or is it just kind of like an automatic thing? <laughs> uh, the weapons that we have... This seem or this slot, from what I can gather, is specifically for air pressure guns. Okay, so... Closed reflex sight, standard magazine, and a drum bow. That actually. might make the bastard usable if it wasn't horrible. <laughs> if it wasn't. Beyond horrible. A shot. Uh, set up a bowels. If I could get a proper site for that. Uh, no, like, again, I will say that that definitely looks heavy. However, again, game logic. Really, holy shit, that actually takes quite a lot of them to make. You know what? May as well just make the max of them. As Taka is best. I'm not doing anything with the workbench now, Artyom, so you are welcome to use it. Artyom? I thought you were going to get that carriage. Where is it? Hmm. 
Man, can I go west here for a bit? The whole thing starts hissing like crazy. Tuck, 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 let me take a look. Around here. I wonder where could it be. Oh, you have a busted seal right here. See for yourself. Oh, so that's the problem, huh? Hey, Artyomich, I'm making myself useful here. Glad we've got that figured out. <laughs> Only 30 major malfunctions left, huh? Well, I, I guess, kind of enjoying the show. Well, um, in game. Okay, is there a place I can sleep here? This is kind of an issue that I have, especially, okay. So if I were to take Dragon's Dogma, is that you can't sleep in your own house. Like, think on that in your own house. I'm Captain Brunskill, NATO Occupation Forces. Hands up <laughs> or I'll shoot. What the fuck? Are you fucking mad, Sam? <laughs> <laughs> I got you, didn't I? You almost got yourself shot. If I did, my death would be avenged. I'm being serious, dumbass. I had my finger on the trigger. You know how many of us are here? An army motherfucker. <laughs> Can't get us all. I should just tell the colonel. Please don't kill me. Tell him you took me prisoner. <laughs> that would make him happy. I don't know what to tell him, though. Tell him everything. Start with where your HQ is. I have no idea, sadly. You could go check out that bump over there. Hi, RTM. How are you, Horosho? <laughs> so, so, like, Steve Blum, yeah, I do actually like him as a voice actor. Ah, uh, he also does a pretty good job as one of the characters in Baki. Oh, the net version of Baki. I kind of watched the anime for a bit and it fairly decent anime. Um, a bit weird in the sense of I've been over there. I don't think I actually have Oh, maybe I think I did if that is. Uh, maybe. I don't know. So, in... I forgot to finish talking about Val Valerian. But, first, in Baki, the anime, he goes to train in a forest, and there's like this bear-type creature, and he makes friends of it. So, what does Baki's father do? He goes off, kills the bear, and then sends it home. Oh, se oh, passes it to his son. It's just like, yeah, fuck your bear. You want that friendship? Fuck your bear. And then Artyom is just like, 
I'm going to eat this bear's teeth. As part of some now it's animal spirit is passed on to me. Um num 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 num. Uh, it's just like okay. It's not as if there was a character that literally was talking about how much germs and shit like that was around there. Uh, overall, good anime. I don't think it was fully released in dub, so I'll have to rewatch it. Now, um, Smacked Valerian. I, I, I kind of left off on the big market area. So, like, I do find the idea of a that could be kind of interesting. Like, you have to put on stuff. You're in literally just in the middle of nowhere. <sighs> and you know everything is essentially stored in another dimension. Okay, kid, are you gonna wake up so I can give you this damn bear? Is loud. Holy shit. Okay, so see, where is. M where are the beds here? You'd think I'd be able to sleep along here. As it stands right now, dude. I'm trying to find out where exactly here I can sleep. <sighs> but I don't know, like, what would your thoughts be? So how is that carriage doing, Ardeon? May, chill, I am trying, again, I'm trying to find out specifically where I can sleep. Ardeon, if you need to adjust your gear, Oh, can I give you the bear? Okay. <sighs> to Google because We need to get the train car first. Okay. I am so glad I waited around here all this time. And so while in the big market, oh for fuck's sake, you know what, I'm just gonna run over to the next safe house which does look to be quite a while away big market he does end up finding the um mule converter which the poles from the start of the movie are trying to buy oh they're trying to buy with like <laughs> one pole and they're just like yeah okay you give us that, 
We'll get you really as many poles as you want. And then, of course, bad guy being evil is just like... I could do that, but... Mm, you know, I'm gonna keep it, so you two should probably just leave. Valerian comes along, steals it and the pole. And then the crime boss is just like, I'm going to find you, Valerian, no matter where you go. No, it doesn't go anywhere aside from sending a beast, a beast after them that essentially gets everyone on their armored bus killed. <laughs> And then, of course, they kill the... Just, like, up you know, from the sky. So, yeah, that literally went nowhere. And then, you know, after a bit, you finally get to the actual... You know... City of a Thousand Planets, Station Alpha. You're given a brief rundown of the various areas, but again, it's not really... It's not really as explored as you would kind of expect expect it to be. So again, that issue could be with the fact that the first half of the movie didn't even have anything to do with it. I'm not saying that it's a bad movie per se, but I kind of feel like it might have been a bit better exploring it a bit more. You're gonna jump down. Okay, so I think in the trailer to this, you do get a crossbow. Now, I... If I'm going to assume... I would kind of have to assume that the crossbow... Would be... More used. Uh, okay. What specifically is this down here?
unless... Okay, so clearly... I'll update it in that it's a monster nest. Okay, where exactly were them when the anomaly was moving around? Did... My cat wants in, so be right back. <sighs> All right, let's avoid <sighs> that should have hit there. Oh, okay. They hide in their burrows. I suppose that kind of makes sense. I did not. Okay, it's locking on like I shoot it. Alright. Before. It did not go up there. If I jump off here, I'm going to be in for a world of extreme heart. Just look like rats now. Look around. Uh, 
essentially the only thing I can actually see being of worth is whatever we just picked up down there, which kind of looks just like a standard double thing. But who knows? Hmm. Are there any other decent moves that I've seen that I could talk about? Uh, while we... <sighs> while I wait, let's do a quick check, see if there's any... updated comics, or... Oh, they just anything updated that I've got in my unfinished things. Uh, no slime, no bookworm. And last two. <coughs> uh, nothing. Shame. Yeah, right. Alright, so get in, get that, get out. Yeah, meow, meow. Alright. See. <sighs> they essentially... <laughs> Ow. Okay, really? You're hitting me from... Under the bridge. Hmm. Join under. No. All right. There we go then. What do one under now? Hmm. There we go. Uh. You now what? A bit of damage is fine. This. Really is just a quick one in. Grab. Then mad dash away. We'll then save until, well, sleep until the day. need to make up your mind as to how exactly how much exactly you want to stay covered up uh, if I'm not mistaken I'm pretty sure that would be yeah something for the a shot so far this game has taken me a fairly decent chunk of time Ah, uh, let's have a look, video producer. So, we're roughly... <sighs> Eight hours in. Which, at... Uh, at this point, I probably would have already 
completed the other two games. So we'll go investigate whatever's down here. I'm also gonna not gonna lie. I don't like the redesign of the demons, the watchmen. And, you know, just that in general. Okay, well, while we're here then. I was seriously about to say, surely. And I mean, surely. You cannot just specifically. Because, like, ow. like, surely there are other things running around here that you'd be able to focus on, like the shrimps. Um, any watchmen? Alright, so... I'm still missing a few things of note on here. For now... Let's sleep. Is there any gun? No. We will sleep until day again. I attempt to investigate the area that's over there. And then we'll move on. I'm not gonna lie, when I was, like, just from my general memory of this game, I was just like, I am really not gonna enjoy this. <sighs> oh, but, so far I do seem to be enjoying it more than I thought.
you ever been inside a terminal? As a matter of fact, I can. That bastard Baldi got me to do it once, and that was now. So, what's inside? These guys all die. This is where having a scope on my car would be incredibly useful. I find it curious that they dis or distinguish me from walking around. When... They themselves do walk around. So I've got a heavy guy in there, and at least three down there. Yo, 
How the fuck? Okay, it sounded like I just got hit by a shotgun there. No, I'm not sorry, you are too cute. Mm -hmm. Give the kitty 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 up. Give the kitty 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 up. Um, we give. Give, give the kitty up. Alright. Since I'm. Okay, see, it seemed like I got shot from the side there. Oh, this thing desperately is screaming for a scope. Like, that guy looks like he can run more than me, and he's actually wearing heavy gear. Okay. I'm gonna have to pay attention to the fucking ladder then. Holy shit. So, I can possibly take out two of them, and then going to need to stay focused on the ladder. Oh, I was just like, wait. Why does it look like I moved somewhere else? And then I realized that I did move somewhere else. <sighs> okay, that should have been a headshot. My dude, if it comes up way too quickly, you know what? You want to get serious? Let's get serious. Seriously, how come I can use a four time scope on an assault rifle, but not a, a four time scope on a revolver? But when it comes to a car rifle, somehow that's just breaking all the rules.
so you're saying I just have to wait long enough and eventually minimal will come over here is that what you're saying Is that really what you were saying? Is that all I had to do was wait? Wait a fairly decent amount of time and a human or oh, a minimal. I'm gonna call them minimals. Oh, okay. Would have come in and clean them all up. Really? I mean, really. <sighs> Okay, where is your gun? Do not be sure of oh, cheapening. Do not cheat me out of a gun. <sighs> so, and then the last one. Upgrade is nice. Not sure if it was worth the amount of bullets. I'm just gonna shoot out from this side. The 
Nice one, guys. Yeah, there's officially one. You're stupid. Alright. Right down here. We will rest until the day. We will avoid the shrimp. Uh, I actually do have a fairly decent amount of stuff. Throwing mm, weapons, not really a decent thing. Can I add a scope onto this already? Shrimps. Hmm. I'm kind of curious. Did they come back? Mm, they do seem pretty wiped out, which is good. Uh. So it does mention you can only get in via boat, so I'm assuming I have to come down on here. I'm gonna have to assume I get off here unless I was meant to get off back there.
Hmm. Well, it looks like we have the sawfish as company. I guess the sawfish and manimals. <sighs> okay, sometimes you get two, sometimes you get three. Very weird. I literally just fired at you before you jump. If I'm quiet through here... Oh. <sighs> My sister made me up a combination of all, so let's give it a try. Hmm, yeah, and my trail phase one. No, it's, it's not a bad one. Um. We have the phase X hydration one also coming to. Uh, it's not a bad red. Mm. I'll say maybe it has star fruit or wumper fruit in it. Alright. Guess if I'm. Delphi. No. <coughs> okay. So we're playing by zombie logic here. In that... Wait to get close before actually coming out. They actually went zombie logic. I can't believe they actually went zombie. Like, um, no to both. Okay, then what did it have in? I'm assuming this is, yeah. Well, it's a good thing we got the key to this area beforehand. A lot of stuff in here. Well, I 
guess there's your explanation as to what the sawfish is. Uh, gold apple pear and phase berry. Interesting. I'm not gonna lie. I. Ooh, now that does look like a good lot of gear. This is like. I'm not gonna lie. I really was expecting there to be, like, something really good in here, but so far, kind of lackluster. Uh... Okay, so that's kind of curious as to that you open the door from the other side and yet then it would regardless lead into here. So Kind of wonder. Oh, I thought that was a um workbench. I guess not. Uh, oh, this thing needs a clean. Let's see. Provides more comfortable here. So increased stability and less stability. And fire rate, but I don't. I think two stability and one fire rate is better than a single. Uh, yep. These definitely need a clean. Is better than you know one point of damage. Uh, I also will <coughs> possibly be just moving through this area and then calling it. So once I'm done with the term and bring the train car back, I'll probably call it. The fact that none of them knocked you off into the water like seriously the fact that no no none of those three shots um you can keep playing nah I was gonna okay sis for today I Let's have a look. Earlier this morning, I did a... Bump, bump. No, oh, precious kitty gets under the blankie. Precious kitty, under the blankie. There we go. <sighs> Just this morning, I did a two hour 43 minute stream just earlier today of Metro Exodus this stream alone has already gone up to just about 2 hours 49 minutes
Okay. So are you see this only really doesn't make doesn't make any sense. If unless it's specifically trying to defend its territory, which it is came to this area specifically as its territory, then it has no reason to attempt to you know, really try and get me. Because Like, I hope this isn't going to be a, yeah, the sawfish is now just really desperately trying to get to me. What is the point of that? What is the point of falling down here? Aside from a bit of the glowies. So that could actually kind of be a interesting concept to play around with. In that you kill man animals and you dump their bodies down into the water to distract the starfish. Well, yeah, sunk along those lines. However, then I do have to say that it's very clear that this. The sawfish is not territorial. As if it was, it definitely. would be attempting to kill each and every one of these manuals. Still alive. Fuck off. Okay. I shot you countless times. Die. God. No, so, okay, maybe they could be female, however... I don't know, maybe after they got mutated into manimals. Oh, <laughs> fucking hell. <sighs> to me, it really... I'm not sure if they are females or male. Uh, maybe we'll encounter them eventually. That would be nice.
<sighs> Even beasts should learn to fear the shot. Like, really? Even a beast would low wouldn't uh Okay, as I was saying. Early to a point where you know after all is okay, maybe the guy shooting at them a lot might be a bit too much for them. It's kind of sad that Metro Last Light also seems to have a weapon degradation system. Yep, Fallout 4 does not. Of course, then they had to bring it back for Fallout, yep, Fallout 76. Yep, leave. Is this the passenger car? I... Oh, shit. <sighs> Spotted that a bit too late. Hmm. Well, not exactly the free hour mark. It's close enough. I have no idea what these things are. Okay, so that's not the passenger car. <sighs> Those little plant things are kind of annoying. They remind me of the cis in Dead Space. In that... Yeah, you know, they're... Essentially just there to kind of annoy you. Be it trying we ain't going to they do attack the enemies however the wing has really shown that much that they attack the enemy <sighs> again Thank you! I mean... Granted, that definitely was probably just scripted. But still... Okay, which way do I go? Do I go up or do I go down? Should I stay or should I go? Should I stay on the down low? Should I go up high? Light him up tonight. Should have bought him all right now. I gotta burn him to the ground. You guys certainly are 
tanky, ain't ya? Oh, so I can handle that drop. This game can't even follow its own rules. Ah. Seriously, again, it has to get to a point where these stupid fuckers have to be like, okay, maybe we can't win against the gun-toting Russian. This is a good example of an encounter costing than you gain. As the only ammo that I've really picked up along here is the ammo from these guys. <sighs> Squat. Grab as much green jelly goop as I can. So far, I am not much of a big fan of uh, this section, and that is primarily because of the animals. <sighs> Sh literally following zombie logic. Animals are straight up following zombie logic. They hide out in water and then move like that, and it's just like okay. Uh, hmm. Huh? Wait, what? Okay, let me... What? Did you want to eat them off the thing? Why do you seem mad? You'd think it'd be a lot easier to get them in the water. Curious, but curious. Uh, we also have now officially passed the free hour mark. Half of that is probably me loading this game.
Uh, I will give a fair warning though that if it does... It was not 2033 before. Fish. Hmm. Uh. Should I give you a pat? I'm go plat 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 plat. You have not burned a lot of pots. We should be to starve the pots. That's already started a page. So. This is more me testing something out of. Curiosity. So then, starfish gets. Yeah. Okay, I kind of want to... You do get an achievement for that. Um, kind of... Okay. <laughs> Evil to the bone of each children. Uh... Okay, so...
So it doesn't seem any negative karma. However, if I am kind of looking at it in the way of my own moral compass, I would kind of have to say killing it seems to be the correct choice. In some of the sense that, yes, the cultists do worship the sawfish. However, if we are to look at one cultist has said that yes, it has eaten. <laughs> I got was weird. Has eaten some of the fanatics. Uh, so I'm kind of curious. Since I didn't really. Hmm. Okay, that doesn't look like I missed out on too much over here. <sighs> but yeah, if going based on my own mole compass, I would have to say killing it would be a good choice for a couple reasons, and one would be surely it cannot be that good for the local population. Oh, at least the local animal population, I should clarify. Because a creature that big naturally is going to have a big appetite. It's going to go nom 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 nom. Pretty much on whatever it would see when it's hungry. Plus, maybe once I see that it's kind of being killed, uh, who knows, maybe that'll lead them to rethink their faith. Driven the trolley. Now, do I actually drive it? Because we're going to be driving it backwards. Unless I missed a point in which I needed to pull it forwards. Quick save before we get too far ahead. It would... Hmm. Uh... How exactly? 
exactly do I get out? Old B? Oh, okay. Yo, that... That would have helped. There we go. Alright. So then we get up to here. So we need to switch the tracks. Seems simple enough. So we drive it down here and then... Yeah, okay. That seems simple enough. Really would have helped that I figured out how to switch it around. Oh. Yeah, hold A down. Alright, so... That's about here. Up off. this. So... <sighs> I'm really, really starting. Where the hell did the train car go? Okay. Seriously? That, that surely is not it, right? So unless it's on some kind of maglev, which I have no idea. How the fuck did it get all the way back here? Seriously, how the fuck? How the fuck did it manage to go all the way back along there? I'm going to be perfectly honest, I am definitely not a fan of the animals.
Okay. Charlie, please be staying in position this time. I head in and heal. Uh, okay, so I didn't get anything, but... Holy shit, these guns need to clean. Spend 500 consumable weasels. Nice. Going to rest until day. Tiny cat goes to sleep. Tiny cat goes to sleep. Tiny cat goes to sleep. I to sleep. I to sleep. <laughs> Ah, precious cat gets a bit Oh, hey, look, the trolley actually stayed here this time. No, the question is do I just charge right through this or is there an alternate? I'm gonna have to assume I just bust right through here. Okay, so the passenger car was uh, yeah, I don't see oh, why did I not put two and two together? Gotta be a way to open this gate. I mentioned the shed. Oh, wait, no, don't tell me that I've been squishing the little baby shrimp. Oh no. Okay, holy shit, that almost was bad. Oh, I feel so horrible now.
hope I didn't kind of break the game by already coming here first. Okay, so... There's got to be some way to open that, which I'd have to if I were to assume it would be up on the second floor. Once I find a way up again. Yeah, that's right. There's a way up on the outside. side. Okay, really? Wait, hang on. Uh. Well, I can tell someone got a demotion for that. Well, at least I hope they got a What's the opposite of a raise? Decrease in pay, I'm assuming. Aha. <sighs> uh -huh. I hope it doesn't actually need the oil. Good. I was seriously worried that I kind of broke scripting by already coming here first. Passenger train car has been found. I wonder if you could kind of skip this. I don't think you'd be able to. My cat does not want out. Interesting. Well, it kind of looked like she did before. Anyway, once I get this back, give the people the stuffles. I'll be calling it. Um, I'm really not sure. Okay. So I can't turn this around to actually see. Oh yeah, well that's awfully convenient. So glad there wasn't a time limit or anything. Meow. 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 Mere, mere, pa, da, da, me, la, me, la, pa, a, pa, a, pa, pa, a, pa, da, cat, pretty cat, a, da, pretty little cat, la, da, pa, da, little cat, la, da, pa, da, little cat, uh huh, yeah, took it, took it, took it, took it, took it, took it, yeah, our old home is here. That's amazing. 
I knew good. you had great potential you even back teddy? then at the jammer. Teddy? Teddy! Are you really bad? You're my hero, Teddy! Mom! Teddy's back! What do you have to say? Oh, thank you, Uncle Artyom! Thank you so much! Artyom! Come up here! I have something to talk to you about! Thank you, Artyom! I don't even know how to thank you! Spasibo! Thank you, Artyom. Man, I am in your debt. <laughs> Man, you're the one who wanted the guitar, right? Hello, Artyom. Uh, oh, new attachment. How's that magazine? Uh, so. Way better, but I still can't get a scope for this. Uh, so hmm. short bow and suppressor. Doesn't look like nothing new with that. So, are you ready for that final push? Good luck, and thanks again. Ah, there we go. Wow, where did you get this? God damn, this is cool. Thank you, man. You just blew my mind. <sighs> Alright, before I actually make the... Anna worried the most, of course. But I told her that the Colonel only sends you on the most important missions because he trusts you that much. Hmm. Yeah. So I'm going to call it here. Um. <laughs> Before I go on to the final mission of this area, I'm assuming. Thank you so much. I will look up just to make sure that I'm not missing anything. I hope that I'm not. I could not miss missing any upgrades, missing any gear. No. Again, I usually would just not and continue on anyway, but I want to make sure that I try and find everything. So anyway, bye-bye for now, and I will see you in the next episode whenever I do.